Welcoming to our last fantasy fuel up of the season, Adam Hogue and Ray Scarpelli, who's been giving you the advice all season long, and he can back it up. Hold up that trophy, Ray. I know you have it there. First of all, that's just an impressive, that's an impressive fantasy football trophy. That thing is insane. Uh, congratulations. Man. Thank you, thank you. And honestly, um, I, I really – I just want to just say on my end, just how much Adam, I've loved talking with you, talking with Carm, talking with Braggs, like just really everybody over the course of this last year. Um, it's been the most fun football season I've, I've ever had. Um, and I know the, the bears didn't make the playoffs, but we got that number one pick <laughs> Got a fantasy championship. I don't know how much better it can get, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's, and, it's, you got that, and you got that yeah. sweet, sweet trophy. So yeah. uh, we're going to wrap up the season here. Ray's going to hand out his fantasy fo football awards from the season. MVPs at a bunch of different positions. Sleepers. Um, some busts, too. So we're going to run through these here for the 2023 fantasy football season. Let's start with your MVP at running back. My MVP at running back, I mean, here, it's kind of obvious if you had him. Christian McCaffrey, um, ESPN going into the championship round. If you had Christian McCaffrey, you were in the championship round in over 59% of leagues. So if you picked him, there was some injury concerns. Uh, but if you picked him, you were really happy. And, I mean, he had a heck of a year, heck of a year. All right, and then at wide receiver, man, Tyreek Hill just kept getting the job done. Tyreek Hill kept getting the job done. Um, he led me to a championship. Uh, I drafted him at 106. You know, there was concerns there with Tua Tagovailoa, right, remaining healthy and all this other stuff, but uh, he delivered and delivered a season for the ages. All right, now your biggest draft steal – of the year we got to do a call back here your yes. very first hit with us way back in august before drafts were happening you called this one here's what ray said back in august to me i think the tampa bay wide receivers are extremely undervalued based on their adp even with baker mayfield at quarterback like i would love to pick up Mike Evans or Godwin in the sixth or seventh round. Well done, my friend, because Mike Evans is your sleeper or your steal of the year. Yes, he finished at wide receiver five. There was, you know, here, right, in the fantasy community, in the football community, there was a lot of doubts, right? Baker Mayfield coming in at quarterback. Um, Evans isn't catching balls from Tom Brady anymore. It's Baker Mayfield. He's kind of bounced around the league a little bit after Cleveland, but here they just beat the Eagles in the playoffs. They're moving on to the second round. They're in the divisional round here. I mean, it's kind of crazy. So, I mean, and he's a big part of it, Evans. So. All right. Your waiver pickup of the year. This one hurts me to my very soul because I was actually going to draft this guy with my last pick and I made a terrible decision. It's got a little homerish on this one. And instead I drafted Roshan Johnson and missed the opportunity to pick up this guy in the draft, not even just on waivers. Go ahead, make it hurt. Kyron Williams, another player that uh, led me to a championship. Um, I added him after the first week. My biggest advice to you guys moving forward and when we do these segments moving forward, spend, if you've got a fab league, spend your fab early. Do it the first week. If there's a guy that you think is in a good situation, spend the money. I spent the money on Kyron. He led me to a championship. He finished as the running back five, especially in an offense like the Rams. I ended up spending it all on Devon A. Chain to make up for the Kyron Williams. It actually was pretty good money. It was money well spent, but then he got hurt, and he really wasn't available uh, too much. But, um, yeah, man, that one hurts. All right, let's get back to uh, MVPs. We go to the tight end position. Sam Laporta, another one that led me to a championship. Um, and I picked him off the waiver wire again with that fab 
money right in the first week. So please, again, emphasis moving forward into next year. Spend your fab money early um, and pick up the guys that you want because here, nobody expected Sam Laporta broke a ton of fantasy rules this year. Everybody knows that a rookie tight end is not supposed to play well. A lot of them don't get good until year five, year six. But as a rookie, he finished as the tight end one. Tight end one. And you had people that drafted Travis Kelsey in the first round, and this was a guy you could have gotten off the waiver wire. So, I mean, just I love Sam Laporta, Iowa, just producing another good tight end. This one I can at least claim some success because somebody in our league dropped him. It was like week two or week three. I forget. I picked him up, and he ended up being huge for me. I'm starting to understand why you won your fantasy league, though, here. Um, biggest draft bus at the running back position. I got to go with Tony Pollard. Um, here, that Dallas Cowboys offense really, I think, midway through the season really switched to just Dak and CD. Um, there was some question marks, right? You had Ezekiel Ali as the lead back. Tony Pollard last year was kind of, you know, starting to take away carries starting to take away touchdowns from Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott leaves in free agency, goes to the Patriots, and then it's Tony Pollard's backfield, right? So a lot of people were like, hey, they got a good offensive line. He's going to be a good running back. Personally, never bought it. He was a more expensive Alexander Madison, uh, really, because a lot of these guys drafted Tony Pollard in the first round or at the top of your second round. So he finishes running back 15, and I just, for what you – where you drafted him at, just just not a good player for fantasy. All right, how about the biggest bust at wide receiver? Stephon Diggs. I hear again another guy that was highly highly drafted in the first round, and again just a mid season change in the offense. They really went with the run game. They they really channeled James Cook as the main part of that offense. Stephon Diggs really kind of suffered. As a result of that, I mean, he in the beginning of the year was doing really well. But again, another guy that finished outside of the top 10 at wide receiver when you drafted him in your first round, just kind of a shame. All right. And then this one at tight end, man, this was relatively shocking. And uh, I think it's fair that we all blame Taylor Swift. I was literally just about to say that. Adam. It's 100 percent Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. Um, and I'm going to kind of sound like Chris Collinsworth here, but here's a guy that, you know, you drafted in the first round that you, you know, there's a strategy called the bully tight end strategy, right? Because, you know, there's really only a couple good ones and he's supposed to be one of them. And the guy that I mentioned earlier, Sam Laporta crushed him. And that was somebody you got off the waiver wire. So just for what you drafted, and that when I made these selections, it was based on where you drafted them. These were all guys that you drafted in your first round, your second round. And if you want to win a championship outside of your waiver wire, you really have to draft well in your first two rounds. If either one of those picks bust, you just don't have a good shot in that championship round. Well, and part of it too, obviously we're, we're kidding about Taylor Swift, but part of it, like you mentioned, yeah, so Kelsey went down a little bit, but mm -hmm. a lot of other tight ends stepped up. It was a different tight end year in fantasy football. I know people that started actually starting Cole Komet over Travis Kelsey some weeks yeah. and having it work out in their favor. So it was just kind of a weird year um, for Travis Kelsey, who is getting up there in age, and this is kind of something we've been talking about for years now. Is he going to start to decline at all? And um, I don't know if he's fully declined, but from a fantasy perspective – um, he wasn't as valuable this season, of course. All right, Ray. Um, I'm glad you're holding that trophy. It's been a lot of fun talking to you weekly throughout the season on your fantasy football picks. Obviously, you made a lot of good decisions this season, handed out a lot of good advice. So uh, thank you for all that. And, of course, we need to find out, though, what's going on at the dealership this month and with Ray Auto Group uh, in the month of January. Here, Adam and CHGO listeners, um, you know, here, I love talking football. I'd love to talk some cars with you, too. Um, this year is a really big year for the dealerships. Uh, we're getting it started off right. We got our Fresh Start financing program going on right now. So 
If you've been looking to get an auto loan, you might have a little bit of challenge credit. We have some new banks that we just added on as a part of our portfolio to help get you some financing. I'm actually working on one right now with a personal friend uh, to get him an auto loan. So that's what it's all about. It's all about relationships here at our dealership. I love having a relationship with these guys, especially Adam and all the guys over at the studio. It's all about relationships. Allow me to be your guy. I would be happy to help you get you into a new vehicle this year and get the new year started off right. And you can also get a free oil change. If you stop by, mention CHGO. You can grab a free oil oil change as well when you jump in uh, and stop by and see Ray. Awesome people over there. Great fantasy advice, too. So if you do stop in, make sure you, you know, you got you got to cash in on a little fantasy advice as well from Ray. Uh, so I got Ray, the trophy in my office, Adam. It's it's staying here. I get it for a year. So it's uh, I, I've been wait, waiting a little while for it. So. Yeah, it should be proudly displayed at the dealership yeah. all year long. Uh, love it, Ray. Uh, again, check out Ray Auto Group in Fox Lake. And, um, well, well, we'll keep the fantasy advice rolling here uh, at when it is you know relevant throughout the offseason. Uh, this has been your Fantasy Fuel Up presented by Ray Auto Group. We all silly like the mayor. 